a journey back in time as a B-17 gets ready for flight. The plane is a remnant from a bygone era when the work being done at the old Willow Run bomber plant helped win a war. The assembly line and machines have long gone idle, but the significance of the place has not been forgotten. And if it weren't for this plant and other plants in the Detroit area, we would have had a very difficult time winning World War II. In the 1940s, Ford Motor Company switched from making cars to making planes. Nearly 9,000 B-24 Liberator bombers in all to help win the war in Europe. They built one plane every hour coming off this, which everybody said was absolutely impossible to do. With the men at war, women started working in the factory, but not just any woman. But our claim to fame here is that the very first one, the original Rosie, Rosewell Monroe, was here at Willow Run Bomber Plant. Rosie the Riveter became one of the enduring images for a nation at war, and she remains a cultural icon 70 years later. The younger generation needs to know what people went through and be able to go and see what they did and, and how they did it uh, for our country. Which is why a group of donors is trying to raise $5 million to help create a museum here and help open a new chapter for the historic bomber plant. Mike Householder, Associated Press.